Denis Sassou Nguesso has ruled the Republic of Congo for most of the last 40 years. He wants to stay. He voted here in the capital, Brazzaville. Our democracy, which is in its first stages, we can say our democracy is in good health. His most prominent opponent, Guy Brice Parfait Colelas, has COVID. He sent a message to his supporters from hospital. I'm battling death, but I'm asking you to stand up and vote. There was a low turnout in many polling stations in Brazzaville. In parts of the city where the opposition are popular, there were more voters and complaints of irregularities. Voters here said a ruling party official had taken all the materials from a polling station to his property, where they said he was paying people $20 to vote for the ruling party. This man says, you're giving money to people to vote for you. It's not an election. Dozens of armed police came, but they said they didn't have a warrant to enter the property and would wait to gather more evidence. The president of the Electoral Commission, out visiting polling stations, said everyone should have been able to vote. We can't imagine a person with a card whose name is not on the electoral list, but we gave instruction that all those persons must vote. Charlene Kinwani campaigns for democracy with a group of activists. He says people are voting in fear. The situation is threatening and doesn't guarantee a peaceful election. I'm sure the result will be contested because the election is not credible. The activists say there are many problems with the electoral register. Charlene says his father is on it, even though he died years ago. He says he also found the names of a couple of his neighbours on these lists, even though they're long since dead. Young people, on the other hand, many of them don't even try to register. Others sell their vote. And he says that's because they don't believe that there's any chance an election can bring any change. Money played a big part in the campaigns too. Here, cash is thrown to people as payment for attending a rally of the ruling party. Congo's billions of dollars of oil wealth haven't helped most of its people. All businesses had to close for polling day. People were only allowed to move on foot and the internet has been switched off. Rights groups say that means the counting and tallying will happen in the dark. The Electoral Commission says the result will be announced in about four days. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Brazzaville, Republic of Congo.